Hey guys, it's Melanie. Happy Wednesday and welcome back. Um, we are nearing the end of September, so it is time for my monthly empties video. Today we are tackling my home fragrance empties. Uh, tomorrow we'll do beauty empties if you're interested in that kind of stuff. So um, yeah, this is my opportunity to show you guys candles and wax melts that I have completely finished, either by burning the candles or crocking them um, or melting the wax melts. Um, Honestly, most of the wax melts are scentsy because that's typically what I buy the most of. There might be like a Swan Creek uh, clamshell or two in here as well. I honestly don't remember. September seemed both really long, but then also really short. Um, I can't decide. Um, I can't decide if the month went by quickly or slowly. And I do have my trusty assistant Alf here with me. I'm going to ignore him in the hopes that um, he'll behave himself. We'll see. All right, you guys, let's get into it. Anything that is actively available, I will link in the description box down below. You can find that right below this video. If you're watching on your phone, there's a little arrow that points down. I think it's either to the right or the left near the bottom of the video here. Um, so that's where you can find that information. Uh, let's get into it. Pumpkin pecan waffles. Okay. So I figured that I would try it in this packaging right here, which is interesting. Um, it's got little pumpkins on it. it. looks like, is this called an ECAT or ICAT pattern? Gosh, I can't, I don't know what it's called actually, but uh, I've seen this pattern before and they just incorporated some pumpkins into it, which is nice. Anyway, um, this sucked. Uh, it had these types of wicks. So this actually lived its life for the most part in my candle crock, if you don't know what a candle crock is, which most of you that are not new here, you know what a candle crock is. But um, if you don't, I'll link a candle crock 101 video down below that explains it. And I will put my top recommendation for a very neutral candle crock in the description box as well. Okay, pumpkin pecan waffles ended up in there because it just wasn't behaving. It also smelled off when I was burning it. Now when I melted it, it smelled like pumpkin pecan waffles, which is delicious. I love this fragrance, but for whatever reason, all the ones that I have purchased this year had those thick wicks um, and just made it smell weird. I don't know, and just not burn well at all. Um, maple syrup, golden waffles, pumpkin spice, brown sugar. This is a classic from Bath & Body Works. It comes out every single year. It's delicious. Um, I don't know why they decided to mess it up by putting these terrible wicks in it, but they did, so that's fine. They'll still repurchase it. I did have someone ask me why I keep purchasing Bath & Body Works candles if I have so much issues with them, um, so I thought I would just explain that really quickly. Um, I purchased from them for a few reasons. The first is that I can literally drive five miles down the street to my mall and uh, buy the candles in person which is hugely appealing. With a lot of these candle companies, I can't do that. Um, Homeworks, I have to drive quite a ways and the selection at my local Ulta that sells them is pretty limited. Um, uh, Yankee, uh, most of the stores have closed around my area. I don't really buy from Kringle. I don't ever buy from Goose Creek. Um, Nest, I really kind of have to order online. What they have at my local Sephora is pretty limited too. So anyway, it's just, it's ease of being able to get a hold of it. It's that they, up until now, I feel like I heard this might be changing. Um, they've had a pretty decent return or exchange policy if something didn't perform. Although I obviously don't really take advantage of that myself. I just put things in the candle crock and um, I enjoy them that way. So I feel like I get my money's worth. Um, with a sale, and with a coupon, I feel like they are still somewhat reasonably priced, although the whole $10 off sale isn't, I don't, that's, they're charging too much. <laughs> and yeah, it's, it's mostly just ease of use to be perfectly, uh, per, ease of being able to get a hold of them, to be perfectly honest. I have certainly ordered online, but like I said, I can just go down to the store and then you know, I can smell them in person, which is really nice. You can't do that with a lot of these different candles. So yeah, that and I'm a glutton for punishment. So anyway, this also didn't uh, work out well for me. This was toasted vanilla chai. This one was super sweet and cloying when I was burning it, but I really actually liked it better when it was melting. 
it's almost like the wax got too hot when it was burning and it created just this it's like a sickeningly sweet sweetness that I find a lot of these Bath and Body Works candles get when they are gourmand and they're pretty sweet to start with. Like it just, I don't know, it's very unappealing to me. But I but I really liked this when it was in the candle crock. So I won't repurchase it. Um, also, if you do put candles in a candle crock, please know that you can never light them again. Do you see how close this wick is to the edge? That would uh, cause this glass to potentially break and not only create like a huge mess of wax, but also a fire hazard. Don't be that person, don't light them up. Um, I have a cranberry vanilla frost, which, okay, so I actually intended to put this into my candle crock after the last burn that I did for it, which was kind of at the halfway point. But then I decided, I'm just gonna put it in my bathroom. It's a nice, it was a really nice scent. I like the scent, but these don't perform really well in my house. There's a big difference between the opening of a four wick homeworks candle and a Three Wicks homework, Homeworks Candle. <laughs> Forgot that X at the end. Um, anyway, moral of the story is I ended up putting this in our guest bath and then I accidentally left it burning overnight and well into the next day. And that was like, that always scares me when I do that. Please make sure that you look around your house at night and make sure you blow your candles out. Um, it was fine in my case, but I, I think you have to be really careful if you're a candle burner to make sure that you blow everything out at night. Normally I'm very good about it, but because I had this in the downstairs guest bathroom, it just spaced my mind. So it burned all the way down and it did get a little, I think the wick started to disintegrate a little bit at the end because you can see there's like a little bit of like residue of darkness here. Um, it wasn't sooty, like it didn't soot up the wall that was behind the candle at all. It just kind of, it's like the, the wax residue or the wick residue just dropped into the wax and made it kind of messy. But anyway, I, I won't repurchase this myself, but I don't know. If you have a smaller apartment or a smaller home that has more like enclosed rooms versus like open concept, um, I think those are going to work better for you. Uh, cinnamon sugar marshmallow. I burned the second one, but I don't actually like this scent. Um, and I'm glad I didn't buy a bunch of it. I bought one set and then was like, oh, did, am I going to regret this? You know, it's kind of a sweet gourmand. I'll probably like it. Thankfully, I only ordered one set and I kind of suffered through this one by putting it in my kitchen. I should have just gifted it. That's what I should have done. I should have just gifted it to someone for the holidays, but I didn't. Um, there are people out there that love this, by the way. So the notes are fluffy marshmallow, sweet cinnamon, and sparkling sugar with white cocoa. It's just too sweet for me. I just, I didn't, I didn't like that. Let me tell you what was not too sweet for me and that I love more than anything. And that I only ordered two sets of because I decided to be more reasonable with my purchases this year. Um, but I regret that. It, uh, praline pecan. So good, you guys. If you love pumpkin pecan waffles, you would have loved this, but it's not available anymore. It's sold out because it's delicious. Um, are these both the same? Oh no, these are different. Um, I have a pumpkin spice latte, which once again, lived its life in the candle crock at the halfway point. And this one I burned down a little further. This was a pumpkin vanilla creme, or yeah, creme, cream, creme. Um, I bought this last year, right? Yep, 2000. Uh, this was nice, uh, creamy pumpkin, vanilla creme, fresh ground pepper, graham cracker crust. This was delicious. Um, basically this just kind of smelled like a pumpkin pie scent to me as well. Um, this smells like a pumpkin spice latte. It has a nice coffee note to it. Um, delicious. Did this one come back? I feel like it didn't. Um, it was nice. Only bought one, I think, last year. So, ooh, sorry, buddy. Sorry, boys. being a good, he's been a good boy right now. I feel like now that I said that, he's going to turn on me. Summer boardwalk. Um, mm. I didn't like the wicks on this, so I stuck it in my candle crock. Did great there. We all know what summer board box smells like. I buy that every single year. It's delicious. Finished another one of my way old school apple crumbles from Bath and Body Works. If you are, yeah, Bath and Body Works. If you're looking for a dupe, you should look into spiced apple crumb from uh, Homeworks because it's basically the same scent. Harry did develop that when he was at Bath and Body Works, so that would make sense. What's this? Oh, this is so beautiful, right? I love this jar. No label. Hobnail. New hobnails don't have labels. Um, 
all the way down. This was Christmas cupcake. Um, this needs to sit for longer for sure. It was very light. Um, the subsequent ones I already put away in my candle closet and I will get those out probably next year. I don't know. I don't mind letting them sit. I have plenty of other candles to burn in the meantime. And I do find that with a lot of candles, the longer you let them sit, um, and this is within reason, like I'm not talking about like 10 years, I'm talking about like maybe six to eight months. Um, if you let them sit for a little while, I feel like they cure a little bit more. Um, sometimes I do like to store my candles upside down, which I feel like the fragrance oils kind of disperse a little better that way. Um, I don't know. Anyway, I, I love this scent. It's just a delicious generic cupcake scent. There's nothing particularly Christmas about it. Um, Holiday Sprinkles is the, I guess, holiday addition to this scent. Um, but I, I don't, sprinkles don't smell to me, to my nose. So it smelled like a, a delicious vanilla buttercream cupcake. That's what it smelled like. It was great. Um, I did purchase three sets. I'm glad I did, but um, I do want this to be stronger, so I'm going to let it sit. Um, I finished a Midnight Leaves. This is one of the hot nails, the older ones with the labels on the front seat. Don't love that because when you peel that off, there's like a flat space here. And yeah, you could put another label on here, but I just don't want to do that. So anyway, these get recycled at this point. I used to save these for floral arrangements, but I just have too many. So now I just clean them out and recycle them. Anyway, Midnight Leaves is, uh, this is nice. I would not per personally repurchase this one, but it's nice. It has like a woody note to it, um, like a mahogany wood note, if you will, but it's not like mahogany teak wood from Bath and Body Works. That's disgusting. This is like a woody note done well. Um, there's also the fallen leaves note in here, uh, juicy apple and cinnamon. It's like an outdoorsy, fresh, earthy, fall, like wet, wet leaves, wet ground kind of scent. It's nice. It's just, it's not totally my thing. Um, toasted coconut cupcake. Um, in the crock it went and that was fine. I like this scent. Um, uh, coconut is kind of interesting choice for the fall for Bath and Body Works, but they seem to do it quite a bit. I've always loved this scent. Um, I remember getting it when it originally came out. What was that, like 2015 or something like that? Um, it's really nice. It's a, like a sweet gourmand coconut. Um, yeah, with just mixed with a cupcake note. It's delightful. Delightful. Oh, I'm so sad. Was this my last one? It's either my last one or second to last one. Vanilla bean macaron. Harry, where did this go? Bring it back. I'm telling you right now, bring it back. I love vanilla bean macaron. Um, this one came from Ulta. And look, in one piece. It is possible to get your candles in one piece from Ulta. I think it depends on your shipping hub, though. Uh, vanilla bean, whipped vanilla, brown sugar, and amber. The second this comes back, I'm going to buy, like, well, no, I'm trying to be more reasonable. Stop being unreasonable. Um, I'll probably buy like five. I just love this. This is a great year round scent, but it's also a nice mixer candle. Really, really nice. What is this? Oh, it's a black sh bl sugar plum blackberry. <laughs> I was going to say blackberry sugar plum. That's not right. It's this. Um, again, uh, this burned fine. Um, this isn't as sweet or gourmand as I really wanted it to be. I purchased these last year, I think it was. Uh, they are available again this year. I skipped them this year um, just because I still have like one or two backups from last year as well. And this was juicy blackberries, plum, sandalwood, uh, and a vanilla whipped cream. I think the sandalwood kind of throws me off in here. It's not super sweet and... Um, yeah, I just, I just don't think the sandalwood belongs in here, but that's just my opinion. Obviously, Harry formulated it that way for a reason. Um, but for me, I was hoping for just more of like that sweet, juicy plum, like the kind of plum I get from Sweet Plum Pastry from Scentsy, mixed with a blackberry. I thought that would be delicious, but that's not what this is. The sandalwood really kind of tones everything down a little bit and makes it less gourmand smelling. Oh, crisp apple cider. Oh, you guys. This was a great scent. I think I still have one or two left. Um, I really like these apple cider scents during the month of September. I, I don't really do much apple going into October. I still have some apple candles that I want to finish. Um, but 
Why didn't this come back? This was a great scent. Um, once again, Harry put this one. This was from his townhouse collection. This was tart Granny Smith apple, juicy uh, gala apple, spice bourbon, clove, and nutmeg. All of those things are all, they're delicious. And don't let the bourbon scare you off on this one. It doesn't smell boozy. It just smells really nice. I love this. Um, he should bring that back for sure. He's, he's so good right now. I feel like I can't say his name because it'll ruin it. But okay, we have a berry waffle cone in this original packaging. The best, right? They just kind of ruined it after this year. <laughs> This glass was perfect. The burn was always perfection. Um, got nice and hot. Uh, the strength and throw was amazing for this. I still have, I think, maybe like seven or eight of these, and I will cherish them. But I do need to burn through them because I do notice them getting a little bit weaker. So there is a there is kind of a cutoff point with your candles where you can let them sit for a number of years. And this doesn't really apply to paraffin candles. I feel like those last a lot longer, but most other like vegetable paraffin blend or like soy candles or beeswax, there is kind of a point where they do eventually start to lose their fragrance again. So you have to be careful. I find that with my Homeworks candles, um, some of them that I still have are like three, four years old at this point, and they still smell fantastic, but they will start to wane after a while. I'm experiencing that more with my older Bath & Body Works candles, so do eventually burn them. Um, but I think if you let something sit for like six to eight months to a year, you're probably pretty safe. So um, Cozy Knit Blanket, didn't love this one, um, so... I didn't actually finish it completely. I'm putting it away. <laughs> I don't know why I stuck it in my empties. Um, that I think I'll finish in January. I just don't love that scent. I'm not a huge fan of like those cashmere um, type fragrances and Hallmarks did send me that one as PR. So um, I just don't love the scent of that one. But if you like that scent, it's it performs great. Like it's, it's a solid throw a decent strength and um, it definitely has that cashmere vibe to it for sure. Uh, pumpkin apple in this cute packaging from back in the day. So uh, obviously <laughs> this one definitely went into the candle crock. You can see those wicks went totally haywire. Um, this was from 2016. This is one of those ones where I started noticing that it was fading pretty fast. And so I put it in the candle crock and it actually smelled a little bit stronger there. So um, anyway. Uh, this comes out, I think, every year. I'm pretty sure it does. So if you want it, I think it might still be available at Bath & Body Works. Harvest Gathering. First off, love the scent, not the performance. Um, put this in my crock. It's This is a really nice, um, like, apple spice, apple cider type scent. Uh, pretty generic, but really well done. It's just that I didn't get much strength and throw in the way of this because it had those thick wicks and then created, like, tiny flames that just didn't... Um, it didn't give me enough of a wax pool to really get the strength and throw out of this, so bummer. But I will repurchase it because I really do like the scent. Um, also love the scent of pumpkin carving. She's a classic. This is uh, freshly carved pumpkin, spiced pumpkin seeds, and smooth brown sugar. This is really nice. Um, if you like pumpkin chai from Nest, you'll probably like this. And likewise, if you're looking for um, something different but similar, Try pumpkin chai from Nest. <laughs> the two are very similar and just nice. Butter cookie crunch. Okay, this was um, another Homeworks three wick. So this I burned a few times and then put it in the candle crock Tahitian vanilla, brown sugar, praline, and shortbread. Uh, delicious smell. Just not strong enough for my house. It's got to be, I, I need things that smack you in the face. Okay, you guys, there's a lot of wax in here, so we're going to start plowing through. Breakfast in bed like a delicious fall pastry. Just, this came back this year. You should try it, it's delicious. Ah, my brick. <laughs> this is the same brick that I have coming to me for my October um, club that's coming. Um, baked apple pie, it's delicious. I do like that apple pie scent throughout the fall and even into the holidays, so I'll definitely get that again. Winterberry apple tea. Once again, Yankee, Yankee, Sensi brought it back and it's delicious. This is like the fall and winter version of sweet plum pastry to me. 
Um, I think if you like sweet plum pastry, you'll probably like winter berry apple tea. Really nice, well done, delicious. I have some pods. Pumpkin roll, um, real nice. I like pumpkin roll a lot. Um, I don't, why did I not buy, well, I need to place another Scentsy order anyway. I need to put some pumpkin roll in there because this is delicious. Um, this is like pumpkin, it is, it's like a pumpkin, it's not a pumpkin pie, but it has those pumpkin pie notes, but then like with a sponge cake, you know, like just rolled like a pumpkin roll, if you will. This is delicious, worth trying, absolutely. Uh, almond croissant is in my club. You guys know how I feel about almond croissant. Um, it, it smells like the pastry with almond in it. It's delicious. First day of fall, um, that's in my club, by the way, but you can, you can still get it. First day of fall, this is very earthy. Um, my foot is falling asleep. Oh God, it's gonna start tinkling. Um, this is a very earthy, like wet fall ground with leaves and dirt type smell. I don't love this one, but it was it was worth trying. It's just a little too earthy for me. I'm not, I'm not into the earthy scent. I finished this in the upstairs guest bathroom this month. It was Ocean from the most recent Bring Back My Bar. I actually really like this. It's not club worthy for me. Good thing because I didn't put it in my club, but this is a nice, fresh, um, salty, beachy, air vibe type situation. Also smells a little bit like bathroom cleaner to me, so that's why I put it in the bathroom. This is nice. If it ever comes back, I would totally purchase it again. Again, not club worthy, but nice. Scary good. Um, this is the scent of the month for September. Put it in your club before it goes away. It's so good, you guys. Um, if you haven't tried it, I would highly suggest trying it. It's a pumpkin scent. It kind of is like a sweeter version of pumpkin carving. It's not quite as spicy, but they have like a similar vibe. They're, it's just so good, just it's so good. Oh, my foot. Oh, don't you hate that feeling when you have that like pins and needles? Like it's just, ugh, where do I sit cross-legged? I'm too old for this. Um, butter pecan, this is really good. This is like um, the pecan filling inside of a pecan pie, which by the way, I think is the most disgusting pie. Um, but then with like a lot of butter added to it. That sounds interesting, but it's delicious. <laughs> it's really good. You do really get that butter note in this. It's very rich, very nutty. It's done incredibly well. I love it. Orchard, apple, and spice. Love this. Really nice spice cider scent. Simple, but nice. This came in the Harvest Collection. French Kiss, um, this smells like Bath and Body Works, uh, brown sugar and fig. You can't get this now because it was in the most recent Bring Back My Bar, so I put it in my club because I love it. Um, pomegranate Prosecco, you can get this now. It's good, get it. It's a fruity, bubbly um, pomegranate scent. Pomegranate, maybe like, ra I get some raspberry in this as well. It's really nice. This is worth getting. Uh, toasted Acorn and Oak. This came in the same collection as the um, Orchard Apple and Spice, and then there is the Cranberry Pumpkin, which should also be in here. It's somewhere in here, we'll get to it. Anyway, this is nice. This is, it's not gourmand, but it kind of smells borderline gourmand. It's really nice. Um, it's a nutty scent. It's got some um, almost manly cologne type vibes to it, but then also some weird gourmand, like edible type. It's very fascinating. You should try this. I, th I think it's delicious. A lot of people have been putting it in their club because it's really nice. Um, cinnamon buttercream. I also put this in my club. This was kind of a late addition. I did take you guys through several weeks ago uh, editing my club for October because I'm getting one in October. So if you missed that video, I'll link it down below. But I ended up adding this kind of at the last minute after I filmed the video. Cinnamon buttercream is delicious. It's like the vanilla bean buttercream with just a dash of like beautiful gourmand cinnamon. Not a lot, not a lot of cinnamon, but just enough to just make it different and delicious. This is great for fall. A peeling apple, very fresh, almost borderline perfumey apple scent to my nose. It reminds me of Deliciously Apple from Homeworks. If you like that, you will like this. Uh, more French Kiss, more French Kiss. Apples and Oats. 
They didn't bring this back this year. What a bummer. This is delicious. I have this in my club. It smells like apple oatmeal. But like at a, like a really nice high-end like restaurant for breakfast. Or like room service at a fancy hotel. It's just, it's really authentic and very rich and apple-y and oatmeal-y and cinnamon. It's just good. This is really good. Oh, our neighbors are leaving. Uh, I ha I made a bouquet for them, um, but I kind of want to drop it when they're not home, so maybe I should do that. She likes to have really long conversations. She's been bringing me tomatoes, and it's been really amazing. She grows the most amazing tomatoes, um, and she brings me some periodically, and I made her a big fall bouquet to say thank you, but I just need to walk it up and bring it to her, so. Um, oh, is this another? Oh, here's that cranberry um, pumpkin spice. Yes. This is also in my club. It's so good. Cranberry scone. A little bit of, there's a little bit of citrus in here as well. It's really nice. I like this a lot. And that pumpkin spice for sure. Um, and another toasted acorn and oak. I did order two sets of this holiday collection. So this is, this is the harvest collection right here. These three. I ordered two sets. Um, this one made it into my club. The cranberry pumpkin spice. So good. Totally worth trying. Um, welcome, little one. This was from the Moment by Moment collection. Um, this is like a baby laundry detergent scent. This was delight. I'm talking fast because I feel like I'm going to get cut off at any minute. Jack's Obsession. This is another like apple cider spice type scent. Um, it's really nice. Much unlike Roll the Dice. <sighs> so gross. And most of you agreed with me as well. Some of you were like, oh, I like it. <laughs> Which is great. I think if you like it, that's fantastic. More for you. You should you should buy all of it because if you love it, you should have it. I did not love it. Um, bring back my bar. Happy birthday. <sighs> it didn't make it in to the. Um, I freaking knew it. I knew I was gonna get cut off. Sorry. Um, uh, happy birthday. Did not bring it in. Did not make it back into the bring back my bar for this coming January, which was a huge letdown. Not for me. I have it in my club. Um, but for those of you that have been wanting to try it forever. So the next time Happy Birthday comes back, vote. Vote like it's going out of style for Happy Birthday. So good. Oh, here's another uh, apple orchard and spice, obviously. And um, a, a fairy tale pumpkin, which came in my whiff box. This is going to be the scent of the month for next month. Let me tell you, if you like Concord grape and licorice, and fall spices, you're gonna love this. I didn't love this. I thought it was okay. Definitely not one that I would order myself after. I would have probably ordered it just based off the description, but now that I've smelled it, no. There are some people that smell blueberry and licorice. There are some people that smell just blueberry and no licorice at all. There are some people that just smell grape, um, and there are some people that smell what I smell, which is grape, licorice, and some fall spices. It's an interesting choice. Fall is grape harvest season, so that might make sense, but I didn't love it. Anyway, you guys, that's it. That is, that's the empties, that's a lot. That's a lot of empties. Um, I do go through a lot of empties because one, I crock a lot of candles, and two, um, I'm home all day. I work from home, so um, I burn starting when I wake up at like 6.30 in the morning until usually we go to bed. Not the same candle. You can't do that, It'll, ugh, that would ruin the candle. But I burn like a couple of candles for like two to three hours, then I blow those out, and then I light another one or two candles, and another two to three hours, blow those out. And I just do that throughout the day, and that is how I burn all the candles. And like I said, a lot of these, they only go to the halfway point, and then they get in trouble, and they're sent to crock detention. So. Anyway, you guys, thank you for taking the time to watch. Um, check out that description box for everything I mentioned, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for Beauty Empties. Take care. Toodaloo.